So again, why do we start with the joint mobilization? The reason is very simple. I'm just coming out of, you know, my daily routine and I'm not all, say, a little bit warmed up on my joint or so. So I just wanna try to get them moving, try to work as many joints as we, we can, just like loosen up a little bit, per se, all right? So that's why we start from the ankles. And I do like a few turns, then left, make good rotation. I'm used to it, so I put my toes like this, some people put like that, it doesn't matter. Just want to feel like my ankles, like the, a little popping here and there, it's all good. Then I go my knees together, I push them in. Hey James, how are you, John, Ada John, Marcus. So again, my knees very short because we don't have that lateral motion. I just want to make sure that it goes a little bit side to side, right? Then I go shoulder width, hands behind my hips, and I try to keep this still, and I'm moving just my hips, make good circles, and then I go to the other side. In general, it just feels good to start like that, and, and if I was going for a hiking, maybe I would do the same thing, right? Hey, Rob, how are you guys? I will credit the tennis to all of you guys are gonna put in the system, okay? Now, when I go inside to side, I always say that first I'm, I'm exaggerating my hooks. It's not really a hook, it's just like I wanna make sure that I get a good twist. And then after a few times, we do the pinching. So I'm literally like squeezing my back muscles at one side as I'm going, when I reach here, I squeeze a little bit more, squeeze a bit, little bit more, squeeze a little bit more, squeeze a little, squeeze a little bit more. Good rotation. And I try to keep my shoulders open, chest open, and I want to feel like I'm really moving my shoulders. Then I can go backwards. I can feel a little pop on my left side. That's a good way for me to see which side I need to work the most, right? Arms straight. Hi, right, Terrence. It's April. April, okay. Arm very, very straight. Backwards. I know for you guys this is all boring, but right now, for who's alive. But again, I want to separate and uh, I'm putting separate parts as YouTube videos here for who wants to just watch that before the exercise at home. I like to pinch my shoulder blades together now and just try to get a few rotations from here. You might feel a little burn. Nobody likes that much, but that's part of the game. Neck. And then side to side. to the left, to the right. And um, then usually we do the little stretch up, right? And then relax a little bit. Once I relax, try to let my legs stay straight as possible. And I don't, I don't force it more than I can usually. I just go naturally like straight, just let my upper body Bring the weight naturally. And then after that, I just push my hip again forward. Now, if you, if you guys wanna do, like we don't do this kind of stretching, like passive in the beginning of the class, I'm gonna say hi to everyone after, okay? Just going through here. Um, so that's, an, I don't mechanically assist pulling my arms or doing this kind of stuff. I do a little bit different the way that I learn, so I want to gain more range of motion this way. So I have really bad shoulders, so what I do is arms straight, chest straight. I bring as much as I can. This is my natural limit. I put my hand here. This hand is not doing anything, it's just a stop. And then I try to bring this arm against my hand, right? 
you can see a little shakiness there I just got a little more range of motion so this is all we call reciprocal inhibition so I'm trying to tighten up the front it will relax the opposite muscles right reciprocal inhibition that's how I learned and then I'll go a little bit here if I'm doing this I put my hand here and I push my arm against the stop so I push and put a stop and I push in this direction put a stop instead of mechanically trying to get this hand to pull this arm into a maybe range of motion that I don't have control right now so I just want to gain that control gain that range of motion by relaxing the opposite muscles right so if I'm you guys understood the reciprocal inhibition you can see that I went a little bit farther when I'm doing the, the ground one again we're gonna start decline elbows on the ground right so I'm, I'm going like this and I'm turning my toes in and out and squeezing so I'm trying to squeeze to try to make sure that I have um, the same range of motion on both sides okay so in out so I can see that my left it's going more out than my right or about the same and in I try to squeeze more this here because this side is not doing much then hands on the ground open more in out in and out so I'm doing squeeze I'm not doing this I'm squeezing squeezing and then body straight up and that's how you challenge in each position so turn in turn out turn in and squeeze and out and then as we turn 90 degrees 90 degrees here my knee bend strong fist on the ground raise just your knees as much as you can relax raise it again relax and this is a good thing to do at home we do that before class in and out and when I when I go with my other leg I will compare which one is moving better than the other right and the kids can do the same thing the adults the MMA guys this is for everyone now the last step or the last stage from this position two arms are straight and again I'm trying to squeeze if I feel any cramping I just relax take down a notch and I might go to the other side and return to the side that I was cramping after right and then I switch and again guys this is not like nothing that I came up with there's a science behind and if you guys have any questions why we do this send me a comment and I, I will address to the person that the specialist, a biomechanics expert that helped us outline and create this routine. And that's Chris Graney. So you see like easy, half, this is hard. Right? Especially if I try to turn my torso, torso a little bit more forward here. Okay? You can hold and squeeze. Your, your behind stays on the ground, you're not coming up, nothing, just like this. And believe it or not, I see a lot of new people that cannot activate those muscles right. From here now, we do this part, uh, sitting, knees bent, get it let out, one, two. I'm feeling a little tightness on this side, so I'm gonna go a little slow. Now I could turn and try to square off with the ground, and now I can go one, two, and go right here. So if you're squeezing right, that alone is a good warm up. So if you're squeezing, you know, you go in here and you're getting your squeeze, and then you turn, you turn. If you put without the hands on the ground, it's even better. So I could stay here, get some balance, and move. We do those, then we go back on the ground. And I'm going to do this one sideways because a lot of people do this here. It's not that at all. 
toes flat, ballerina foot, <laughs> going forward, and I squeeze my calves against my hamstring. So it's a very short, 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 but I'm squeezing. It's hard for you guys to see, but I'm not going here. I'm really, when I'm doing these flippers here, I'm squeezing my hamstring, my calves, turn my toes out, do the same thing with the toes out, but I'm squeezing it as, as much as I can right now. And that's how I prepare for Jiu Jitsu. Turn your toes in, right? And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your calf, squeeze your hamstring, right? Now I start my rotation with my ankles again, start opening up, and once I start opening up, I can start wigging my tail and making like big circles. If you go back to the first class, when we work the pummeling with our legs, same way Pahumpa taught during this, his seminar, you guys see that it's very important to have that hip motion, flexibility, mobility, and legs. Right, so toes straight, legs straight, head off the ground. Try to get a neutral position for your neck because I keep getting yelled at my neck position because I have a bad posture because of my bad neck. Turn, bring your hips up. Você tá assistindo o telefone? Não, não assiste não. Se você puder não fazer stream agora no telefone, melhor. And then to the side. Remember what we did last time? I tried to sit up, keeping my elbows connected to my knees without rocking backwards. So I'm here and not doing this here. That's no, no use for that. I want to squeeze my abs and my starting point is now, forward. I didn't need two. If you can do it once, you're in good shape. I'm not. Some people need three or four without rocking back too much. I go. That's it. Now, side to side, you guys gotta try to do without doing anything like this. So you go. Almost go back to your left. Break, go back. Break, go back. I'm not doing this very well because I'm rusted because of the coronavirus. Break, not because I had it. Cool. We do those. Um, Really helpful. If you want to add one more from last class, hands here, knees to your chest, to the side, knee to your chest, to the other side, knee to your chest. So you can go here, here, and if you want to challenge a little more your abs, don't drop your leg on the ground. Just go halfway, keep it a little bit off the ground. So I go from here to here. So it's not a stretch, it's more active, correct? Going back. So when I go forward now, maybe I just force a little bit to my right, to my left. Do that a few times and then I roll back. Um, Hands behind, hips up, and I try to squeeze everything I can, right? Hands forward. When I go hands forward, I'm trying to push the floor down, okay? So I'm, I'm doing this. I'm literally actively trying to engage these muscles that are gonna push my arm down when I'm going straight. So if I'm here, I don't rest my elbows on the ground, keep them straight, and I'm going in this direction. 
It's hard to see because you're not gonna see any motion, but I'm trying to do this, okay? Now I have really bad right shoulder. So when I do that, it hurts a little bit. So I take down a notch, right? So if I'm here, I'm going, pushing this down a little bit. To the right. To the left. Sometimes I grab the ground, open my fingers, and I pull myself back a little bit. I feel good. Now it's a more like a stretch on my lats. When I go here, keeping my hand open, and I pull back a little bit. Push up position, look up. Right? Toes together. Behind up. Walk on your hands. Heel touch the floor. Then I roll back. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of breaking a sweat. <laughs> 